All right, y'all. All right, y'all. What's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am going to be cooking some uh, baked honey mustard chicken, and I'm also going to be making some mushrooms as well. Mommy. Um, so right now I'm just Mommy. heating up some olive oil in my pan, Mommy. and then Mommy. I'm going to sear it on the... Yeah mostly on the um, skin side now, and then flip them over, put some sauce on it, throw it in the oven, okay? So, but I gave y'all a preview. <laughs> all right, skin side down, I want it to get really crispy. And then I'm just gonna add all the seasonings that I just added to it, so this is some, and literally just, there's no rhyme or reason to these seasonings, I added just a whole bunch of stuff. So it's a Trader Joe's Mushroom Company seasoning. Uh, this is a newer seasoning that I have that I'm just going to throw on there. This uh, Red Hot Stinging Garlic. I really love the, um, the sauce. So, and because it's a sweeter type of feel I'm going for, if I'm using that. I uh, got this Carolina Gold seasoning as well. It's a private selection Kroger seasoning. And I'm literally going to, I'm going to let this stay down skin side for a couple minutes because I want it to get really crispy. Turmeric, why folks? For the health benefits, okay? A little pepper, a little bit of pepper, and then some, and that a little less. And I'm gonna go season the salt, season, season the salt. Exactly where I want to see. All right, I'm gonna throw my onions in here. Got this little onion. And here's my honey mustard sauce, and I this is what it looks like. Well, all I did was I put some yellow mustard. I probably should have used like a brown mustard or something like that. Like I used straight yellow mustard. I put some honey in there until it was sweet enough for me. I also put some um, Worcester sister sauce in here. So I'm just gonna. Um, well, I let this cook. I let it cook on the other side for like two seconds, and then I put the. I'm gonna put my sauce. In. All right, let that cook for a little bit. Now I'm gonna add my my honey mustard sauce. Kinda. All right, and then I'm gonna throw this in the oven for a half an hour or or longer. Obviously, until it's cooked. Okay. So while um, I was cooking the chicken, I was I'm heating up the chicken broth. So your, your chicken broth or stock, whichever you use, it needs to be warm. Um, otherwise, it won't cook right. Okay, that's what the directions told me. So we're just heating this up, and then we'll come back. So we're gonna we're I've heated up, or I am heating up some olive oil. I'm gonna add. You can use any type of onions you want, but um, I'm going to use shallots. And you want to cook these into their translucent? While we're waiting for our shallots to cook, 
Um, I've got the Kroger brand of this. Now I said I was gonna use my jasmine rice. However, uh, I don't know, for this first time I'm gonna use this rice. So this is the rice that they suggest are Boreal rice because I guess um, it's because of the, like the starch or whatever, it's like really good for getting the consistency that you want in risotto. Um, but I mean, my dad used white rice and it came out fine. Don't know what type of rice my friend used, but um, yeah. And then I got uh, baby bell mushrooms that I'm gonna put in here. Cool. And then I got, I mean, I'm sure you can use drinking wine, but I got uh, white cooking wine. All right, now, now we're gonna add our mushrooms. Kind of like, oh, oh no, dang it. Tablespoons of butter and mushrooms, and we'll cook these down until they're soft. I'm also gonna add my garlic in at this point. Now we're gonna add our rice. So it's a cup and a half of rice. And it said, I forget how much it said for every cup of rice, how much broth you should use. But for this, I have four, I mean, a cup and a half, and it's suggesting that I use um, four to six cups of broth. All right, so we're gonna stir our rice around here. You kind of want to toast your rice. And you also want to season it at this time. So I'm going to add some mass and black pepper. Um, it's that time, so I'm going to add some. And some salt. You also want to use a bigger, a big pan, uh, so that uh, you know, because uh, the rice is gonna obviously expand once it's cooked, and you want to make sure that you have a big enough pot to for that to happen. So I use the pot guess, instead of the pan. Okay, so you want to just kind of toast your rice. So I'm gonna again let that cook for a little bit. and then you stir till it disappears and you just gonna keep on repeating it until until uh 
until it's cooked the way it's supposed to. So, add some broth here. You want to? I said it said to add just enough broth to cover the rice, and then you stir it. So, stir it into the. Until that water disappears and then you add more or the that liquid disappears and add more. So we just out here. We about to just be out here stirring and everything, okay? Sorry, I had got a phone call, but we still going strong, okay? 
Still just been stirring and adding, and you just gonna keep the pro keep doing the process until you know the, the the rice gets nice and tender and everything. They said like it like when you you know uh, I guess basically when you separate it or whatever, and it comes back like fairly quickly. I guess that's when it's done. Obviously, you can also taste it to make sure that the rice is cooked all the way through or whatever. Now I'm gonna add the grated parma some grated Parmesan cheese. It's like the last step. Never too much cheese. Green thing. And we done, and we out here. Okay?